What up guys and girls, CCS Coder here and today we're going to be looking at another fantastic Android box. It's the Mi Cool KM3. You're going to get 4 gig of RAM in here and also 64 gigabyte of internal storage which is obviously expandable. You're going to get all Google Assistant, it works up to 4K, it's got a good GPU, it's got a good CPU. We're going to run it through its paces. I do have the upgraded Big Brother in the background so I've got a review coming of that very soon as well so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see all that but all in all well impressed with this we're going to have a look around the user interface the specs that it ships with actually internally what applications are actually on the device when you receive it straight from Banggood and also what else you can do with it and we'll just test it with some games on there as well so you can actually see the performance of the GPU and the CPU as well so all in all 14% off at the moment on Banggood link down in the description let's have a look what you get in the box then let's have a look at the actual interface. So let's go. So here we have the box for the MeCool model KM3. We got our two batteries ready because remember no remote controls come shipped with actual batteries in because you, you just can't. So a nice, actually I'm very impressed with just the box. I like simple things. So here we go. Here we have the MeCool KM3. We have that gorgeous sticky wrapper on there. So we're just gonna take that off. But uh, oh, let's do this together, ready? Damn. And there you go, there's the actual box itself. And if you have a look underneath, these are just the vents so it actually dissipates any heat from within the internals as well. Let's just take this little bit off as well. Feels so good, man. So what do we have around the side? We have a nice little LED um, light there. We have USB 3, we have USB 2, and we also have a TF card, a micro SD, so you can just expand your memory in there as well, expand your storage. In here we have a LAN, we have the power port, and we also have obviously the HDMI, or as it's called here, HDTV, but that's just an HDMI port. And there we go, there you have further power as well. So there we go, sorry, that's your audio visual port. And there you go, we have our Mi Cool KM3. So looking good so far, so that's, the actual box itself what else do we have in here here we have obviously a power adapter with a long enough lead and there's your little port to plug in we have an HDMI cable as you would expect um, looks nice heavy duty nicely yeah and here we have your remote control which actually does have your Google assistant on here as well so I will just confirm to you that there are no batteries in the back this is all brand new <gasps> ready No, nope, no batteries in the back, hence the batteries that I've got out. So there we go, nice little remote, looks more like a fire stick remote. Uh, looks cool, feels good, yeah, nice finish. Let's go and have a look at the actual user interface on the box itself. So here we have me cool, four gig of RAM and 64 gig internal memory, and uh, your remote with all the tr tr other gubbins that come in the box. But so far, so good. So as soon as you've connected your device to the internet, this is what you're gonna get. There's no further setup options and you are good to go. So everything is gonna be linked to your Google account. So remember you do have the Google Assistant up here so we can say, um, play some awesome content on YouTube by CSS Coda. And then let's see what results that we get. Okay, that is not me, that is not me, that is not me, that is not me, that is not me. Do you know what? None of them are me. So let's try something else. So play some awesome content by Doc Squiffy on YouTube. Hey, there we go. And it's gonna be working. So I'll probably get uh, probably get flagged for putting Doc's content on here. But there we go. Everything just seems to work. We've got a little ad. Um, I'm gonna come out of it, but you get the point. You know, it works and that's the YouTube application itself. So we have the Google Assistant. We also have our side-loaded applications on there as well. So we've got the Google Play Store, we've got the Play Games, the Google actual game store. We've got an update option for all of our applications and obviously your gallery, FX, DRM info, and obviously a little text editor and the Android TV remote if you want to set anything else up on there or actually add any other devices. 
So as you can see, this is my home screen. So because I went on YouTube, I've now got YouTube on my home screen. This home screen is completely configurable. You can add, remove, change things, whatever you want. But as default, it looks really nice. So you can go into the different applications. Remember, this is an Android TV, okay? You're still gonna be able to install anything from the Android uh, Play Store, the Google Play Store. So if we go into apps and then we go over to get more apps, it's just gonna take you to the actual Play Store where you can still get absolutely everything. And if you did wanna get the K-O-D-I, Kodi then you're going to be able to actually get it so there we go using the voice uh, assistant and there we go we've got spmc and cody on there as well and obviously a load of other stuff on there hey one alliance um oh, some nice apps on there um so you can actually use it to as much benefit as you want if you wanted cody on there you can get cody on there but the actual system itself the layout and the usability is absolutely spot on remember this is an android tv and it looks slick everything just works beautifully so we can go down what else have we got on our home screen we can see featured by google play so you got your normal applications in there which are just one click install and remember you can further customize any of this on there as well or go into your settings by going up to the top clicking over to the right and then then here's your settings as well so you can go into your apps you can give specific app permissions you can go into your device preferences to set the date and the time the language the style of keyboard that you want the type of sound you can change the home screen remember we can customize the channels we can enable video previews and uh, reorder apps and games if you want to okay we have the chromecast built in we have the screensaver location usage and diagnostic security and restrictions and accessibility and if you you mess around with them too much you can obviously reset every single one of them so if we come back out we can go to add a new accessory via the means of Bluetooth so you can just put loads of other accessories in there if you need so the remote AT v3 is this little bad boy here the one that which looks like the fire stick remote it's absolute sweet remote it you don't really need anything else on here because that is so good so as you can see that one is connected at the moment we can go into advanced settings. Normally the screen resolution is just de done default as the screen resolution of the monitor or the screen that you're on. You can see the display mode is 1080p at 60 hertz and you can change and mess around with the color and the color space settings as well. You can do the screen position if it's slightly off to one side. You can obviously center it. HDR to SDR, and vice versa SDR to HDR and USB model as well. We have the HDMI playback, we have the playback settings, you have your different forms of storage in there and you can mess around with this as much as you want. But I tend to leave a lot of the things, when I get a box, I tend to leave it as default. But so far I'm loving this. We have his big brother getting reviewed in just a few days, the KM9F Pro, uh, which is absolutely gonna blow you away. But I hope you enjoy this video. It really is a fantastic Android TV. All the links for these are gonna be down in the description below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please consider hitting that button and also the bell, and then leaving a comment down in the section below if you found this video useful. And if you did, think about sharing it. But for me, CSS Coder, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.